Beep, beep. The microwave went off. Microwaves have always fascinated me. They cook your food with the same power that killed more than a hundred thousand Japanese people in 1945. I wish I could have died from radioactive sources. Why? Microwaves are my life. All my food, microwaved. All my appliances, microwaves. Microwaves are the things that keep me alive. I microwaved the iPhone my parents got me. I thought it would charge in the microwave. But my microwave exploded it. But I can't stay mad at microwave. Microwave has taught me tons of lessons. Like don't put aluminum foil in the microwave. Or don't put raw aluminum in the microwave. Microwave is still going off. It's hurting my ears because I'm standing so close to it. I open it. It is a microwavable Celesti pizza. I eat it. I have tomato sauce on my face, which I then use to rub all over my face and on the upper pad. Pleasing microwave. It makes me want pasta with more tomato sauce. I take hard sticks of pasta and put them in the microwave. Microwave is happy to please me because I please him. The pasta is done. The hard sticks of pasta are hot to the touch. I put some cold spaghetti sauce to cool it off. I put two googly eyes on it before eating. It made me scared, so I called it a creepy pasta. Indeed it was the creepiest pasta. I ate it. I heard a knock on my door. I opened it. It was Oven, my ex-lover. Why did you leave me for that guy? He said. I was frightened. Oven pushed me out of the way. Oven came back. In his hands, microwaves blood. Why? I shouted. He said, That's for stealing my human lover, you ass. Why, Oven? I said we could be friends. I said, Friends isn't enough. This is for leaving me. No, I cried. He took my half-eaten creepypasta and shoved it down my throat, choking me so I couldn't scream. Then, when he was about to jump on my head, someone else came inside. It was the microwave repair guy. He saw what happened, and he slowly backed out of my house. Then, I died from Ebola. <laughs> I'm gonna make you mine.